it is Danny and welcome to this update this morning. And so we'll be talking about the first named Atlantic storm of the year. Now this is not in the North Atlantic, which is where the focus typically is for the hurricane season, but rather the South Atlantic. So Tropical Storm Akara was designated yesterday by the Brazilian Navy. Now we can't really see a car right now on the infrared satellite imagery because it is a weakening system, but this is what it looks like yesterday. We can see that clockwise spin. So uh, contrary to low pressure systems or tropical cyclones in the Northern Hemisphere, such pressure systems in the Southern Hemisphere rotate in a clockwise fashion. And uh, it is summer there, by the way. So when it is winter in the Northern Hemisphere, it is summer in the Southern Hemisphere. So temperatures have been favorable enough to allow for it to actually develop. And uh, before it was classified as a named tropical storm, it did bring some rainfall activities to uh, Brazil, some heavy rainfall, but now it is offshore and it is a weakening system. So just as how when we have our uh, tropical cyclones in the Northern Hemisphere make their way further to the North and they encounter cooler water, in the case of Akara, it is moving to the South, moving toward cooler water. So it will eventually dissipate and not to be a bother for anyone, but it is the first named storm in the South Atlantic, tropical storm that is, since 2019. 19. Now let's head further up north and talk about that cold front which is affecting the Caribbean. So this is a look at the satellite imagery for the North Atlantic and there we can see that front which stretches uh, through the Caribbean and out into the Atlantic and it is bringing impacts to some areas and there will be additional rainfall today and in the wake of it winds are going to be kicking up and there's also going to be those cooler temperatures setting in especially tomorrow for parts of the northern caribbean so let's get to the details here areas such as jamaica and even parts of the bahamas cuba and uh, going down to central america have been experiencing some rainfall uh, even yesterday not everywhere but some areas have experienced some rainfall activity and that's going to be the case today as well looking over into the east though we can see some of those cloud clusters moving in to the caribbean which may bring some showers to sections of the lesser antilles and there's still some saharan dust in the region right now but uh, that should be decreasing especially as we head through uh to thursday they're about looking at the rainfall forecast here we can see some of these colorful red and these orange shadings around for parts of the central going toward the southern bahamas even near the turks and caicos islands for parts of eastern cuba jamaica and all the way down through costa rica and panama so in some of these areas there may be some heavy rainfall activity uh potentially for san andreas and providencia as well they're also in the midst of that frontal system and other areas such as the southwestern part of haiti may also experience some increased rainfall due to the passage of this front but elsewhere going to our central and western cuba the cayman islands uh, over into parts of central america such as mexico belize much of guatemala el salvador nicaragua parts of honduras the northern bahamas as well not expected to experience much rainfall as we head throughout today now as we look over into the east uh, there we can see that it's not as colorful and as i showed you guys earlier there are some of those cloud clusters moving in so parts of the lesser antilles may experience some additional rainfall today even for the virgin islands and puerto rico as well and even parts of hispaniola may uh, experience some rainfall activity here and there but uh, going down to some areas such as the abc islands and parts of northern south america including much of venezuela and the guyanas a whole lot of rain is not anticipated so there may be some passing showers here and there but in terms of widespread heavy rainfall that is not in the forecast for today that is expected over in the eastern pacific and near the pacific coast of colombia so you can see it's quite colorful there but overall for the caribbean region those areas within the vicinity of that frontal system likely to experience up to an inch of rainfall today but uh, down toward costa rica panama there may be a bit more maybe up to two and a half three inches or so and with a lot of heavy rainfall especially in a short amount of time that can actually result in some flooding but hopefully that won't be the case today guys as it relates to the wind forecast this is for later today and here we can see some of these blue shadings popping up in the Caribbean so as I said in the wake of that frontal system there's going to be those winds kicking up so it's going to be quite
quite windy across parts of the Bahamas, uh, even for the Cayman Islands and down toward uh, just offshore the Caribbean coast of Central America, Honduras, Nicaragua, even for San Andreas, Providencia offshore. Uh, Colombia as well is going to be quite active with those winds and not very very windy across the rest of the islands maybe up to 10 15 knots at maximum as we head through today now the cooler air is going to be setting in as I said and here we're looking at the forecast for tomorrow we can see that GFS is consistent about this cool down it's highly likely at this point so this is for tomorrow and we can see these blue shadings indicating below average temperatures and the darker the blue shading is the cooler it is expected to be than normal meanwhile those orange red shadings that we're seeing indicate above average temperatures so the cooler air is going to be setting into the Caribbean the Bahamas uh, and Turks and Caicos Islands as well as we can see here and even at as we head throughout the week going towards Friday, still seeing some of that cooler air loitering around. So we're going to have those uh, winds coming from the north and the cooler air following uh, in the wake of that frontal system because now the cold front is that boundary separating the cooler from the warmer air. So once that boundary passes, we get the cooler air now moving into those areas that were affected and that's what we're going to be seeing playing out today and into tomorrow as well however with this cold front continuing through the caribbean the rainfall activity is going to be shifting so here we're looking at the rainfall accumulation forecast and this goes through to around friday afternoon thereabout and there we can see other areas of the north caribbean hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands and even the lesser antilles as well with some of those more colorful shading so maybe up to an inch of rainfall in accumulation across these areas as we head throughout the rest of well not the rest of the week but through the next few days or so because the front is going to be moving to those areas so there's going to be an increase in moisture and thus that increased probability of rainfall as well so that is what is expected guys and again we have Akara in the south atlantic it is a weakening system that will eventually dissipate however it became a named storm yesterday and is the first named tropical storm in the south atlantic since 2019 and overall the first tropical storm of 2024 in the atlantic on a whole so the hurricane season in the north atlantic that hasn't begun yet that begins officially on june 1st however we may see development before the official start of hurricane season especially with the above average temperatures that dominate the north atlantic right now but we'll be talking more about that as time goes by and that is pretty much it for this update video. I really do hope you found it to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.